गफार खान भवन एंड श्री नवीन चंद्र दयालाल मोदी भवन दिस बिल्डिंग सरहद खानी खान अब्दुल गफार खान भवन विद अ टोटल बिल्ड अप एरिया ऑफ 39,450 feet square feet houses the English medium and Gujarati medium elementary school that is standard 325 with a total student stand of 933 that of a massive 6,082 square feet multipurpose hall which can accommodate all our students at the same time in the past both these schools were located at a separate campus about two kilometers away from here. But with all the latest infrastructures and facilities that this campus offers, the trust felt that the students would be at an advantage if we could set these schools to the, this campus and Sri Kanti Lal, Chota Lal, Kothari families, magnanimous contribution has made this possible. Shri Kantilal Chandulal Kotari and family from Hong Kong have contributed Rs. 2.02 crore for this splendid building. The Kotari family is probably the largest donor of Vidya Mandi Trust. Apart from Vidya Mandi, they have contributed to many of the philanthropic institutions in and around Palanpur. The family is one of the founders of the Female Hospital of Palanpur. Virgova campus where Mamta Mandi, a school for the differently able students which stands tall today, was donated by the Kothari family and also the funds for Chandulal, Maganbhai, Kothari hostels for the PTC students and Matrusri, Mani Ben, Chandulal, Maganbhai, Kothari central office are the outcome of their philanthropic donations. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, though we have heard this name in our history classes and know him as Frontier Gandhi or Sarhatna Gandhi. His life and times are still unknown to many of us. Born on 6 January 1819 in the Peshawar Valley in a Pashtun Pathan family. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan faced lots of struggle in his efforts to uplift his fellow men especially from the Britishers and the narrow-minded clerics by means of education. In 1928, he met Mahatma Gandhi for the very first time. The two men came from different backgrounds. Gandhi was from a modest Banya family but had attended university while Batsa Khan was from a family of Patan landlords but had limited formal education. Still, these differences melted away in their common belief, a dream of an independent, undivided, secular India using the weapon of non-violence. When India was granted freedom, Batsa Khan strongly opposed the partition and was in and out of the prison in Pakistan, fighting non-violently for the rights and betterment of his fellow being till his death on 20th January 1988. This was the man, the Gandhi from the frontier provinces, who spread the message of peace wherever he went. Gafar Khan's contribution to the freedom struggle and to the strengthening of the secular fabric of our country has been overlooked and almost forgotten. So, with a vision, a foresight to bring this giant persona out of the shadows of history before the generation who shall pass through these gates and learn and imbibe the secular philosophy of this great nation, I have named it Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan Bhavan. Vidyamandir Trust realizes this noble gesture and greatly appreciates the intention behind it. Now, I invite Shri Bhanubhai Rawal, Principal of Rajmani Gujarati Medium Elementary School, to introduce Sri Rohan Shah, who shall be inaugurating the Bhavan. Bhanubhai, please come on the stage. Sri Rohan Shah, Putani Kaida Shastrani Padvi, Bombay University Government Law College Mathi Prapt Kari, LL Bilni Degree Medvyabad, Mumbai Advocate and Solicitor Pedi, Coffer, Bailey and Company. 
बेहजार एक मोर होन बजे इकोनॉमिक लॉस प्रैक्टिस ईएलपी नाम ने कायदा किए सलाम आटे ने भारत में अग्रणी प्रेडी ने स्थापना करी जेमा ते वो बेहजार सोल सुधी मैनेजिंग पार्टनर तरीके रहा बेहजार सोल में ते वो इंडिपेंडेंट काउंसिल तरीके पता ना स्वतंत्र व्यवसाय ने शुरुआत करी दी लीगल पांसो � मीडिया और टेलिकम्युनिकेशन प्रेक्टिस् निपुणता भारत अग्रणी वकील तरीके दर्शाए तमज एशिया लो प्रोफाइल द्वारा मार्केट लीडर तरीके बेहजार सोल में तो नोध ले आई रिक्वेस्ट श्री रोहन शाह टू काइंडली एड्रेस द गेधरिंग वेलकम सर टू थॉट्स एज आई वॉक अराउंड टूडे एंड सीन ऑल ऑफ यू हियर And the first is about education and the second is about philanthropy or charity. There are many great and transformational stories about education. But one small story is the story of my own family. Three generations ago, my grandfather left Palanpur in the quest of education and knowledge, went in difficult times, supported by some of his relatives, studied in Bombay under street lamps, became the first solicitor from this community. And that, in a way, created a culture in our family which has multiplied over three generations. I have here my uncle Prakash Shah, who was India's ambassador to the UN. One of my uncles uh, was a very renowned lawyer. But I think what we are most proud of is not only the men in our family, but really the women in our family. My cousin sister Namita is Today, uh, the only woman and the only Indian who sits on the executive board of Total, which is the third largest energy company in the world. If my family has a story, I think that story is about the power of education. And as I come here today, I am really moved to see what all of you have collectively achieved in the nature of education. Uh, I went to what I thought was one of the better schools in Bombay. I realized that I spent a lifetime pursuing education, but I should really have spent more time pursuing knowledge. Uh, what's the difference? I think education trains you to earn a livelihood. Knowledge teaches you how to live a life. Uh, I think too much knowledge is denied to our children. I am just delighted to hear from the people here that Vidya Mandir gives the opportunity to people not only to educate themselves, but to actually gain knowledge. And I think the fact that you are creating people who have not only education but empathy because I am told about 80 children a year actually go on to become doctors. They go on to look after mankind and look after the suffering of mankind. I think it's a tribute to what all of you have achieved. Uh, to me, the other aspect as I said which really stands out is the aspect of charity and philanthropy. As has been rightly said that you know, if you light a lamp in a mind you not only enrich that one life, you enrich the fact that the family will be entitled, the community will be entitled, and like us, many generations will be entitled. I know that I stand here today not for who I am, uh, I really am not very much, but I stand as a representative of my grandfather, because if he didn't make this journey from Palanpur in the search of education, I would not have come back here today to be again associated with education. I thank my grandfather, I thank all of you for being the community who supported him and I have no doubt in my mind that this school will create some great people. I have a colleague of mine that I greatly respect, Dushan Dave, who I believe uh, studied in a Vidya Mandir institution. I am sure that you will create the sort of young people who not only will come back here and get invited for their achievements, but their sons and grandsons will also come back because that is the number of generations you will have impacted. They will come back and all say thank you for what you've done and how you've affected their lives. Just as I stand here today to thank you for my family, to say thank you for what this community has done. And I'm really proud to be here, to be associated with this cause and to offer in my very, very small way uh, uh, sorry to say that this is the first time I ever come to Palanpur, but the sense of pride that I feel today being part of this community 
is a very, very rare emotion that I will treasure. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Vidya Mandi Trust is thankful to Srimati Anila Ben Modi, wife of late Sri Navin Bhai, for making a generous donation of rupees 1 crore 50 lakh for this building. <laughs> Mrs. Modi lives in Antwerp. Sri Navin Bhai Modi got his primary and secondary education in Palanpur and at a very young age of 16 moved to London in 1947 and then to Antwerp in 1951 to join the diamond trade. He was one of the first Palanpuris to have migrated abroad. On 16th August 1952, he joined Bonas and Company, a world-renowned diamond broking and consultancy firm. Mr. Bonas has been brokers to DBS for several decades. Sri Navin Bhai Modi played a pivotal role in getting DBS to India and allocating sites to Indian companies. This way, Sri Navin Bhai Modi made a tremendous contribution to the diamond trade in India that was limited in scope until then by opening up a world of opportunities. Navin Bhai became a partner with Mr. Bonas and Company for his Antwerp office and ran Bonas Cousin Angry. Bonas and Company built an extraordinary client list from the Palanpuri community. Who can be more appropriate than Mr. Charles Bonas of Bonas and Company to inaugurate the building named after Navin Bhai Modi? Mr. Modi worked with Bonas and Company for over 60 years. We are extremely happy that Mr. Charles Bonas graciously accepted our invitation to come to Palanpur to inaugurate the Navin Chandra Dayalal Modi Bhavan today. Mr. Bonas owns the majority stake in Bonas Diamond Brokers and Consultants established in London in the 1870s. It is the longest established and most eminent diamond broking firm in the world, brought up in the UK and educated at Brown University in the United States. Mr. Bonas joined the family businesses set up by his grandfather. Mr. Bonas has been a leading diamond broker for DBS over the years and his love for India and the family's business relationship with the country go back to the 1930s and has been highly instrumental in the development of the Indian diamond industry. Now, in its fifth generation, Bonas & Company continues to deliver value to its customers from its worldwide network in every major diamond center including Antwerp, Dubai, Gaborone, Hong Kong, Jonas Street Work, London, Mumbai, New York, and Surat. It is a privilege to have Sri Charles Bonas with us. We request him to kindly address the gathering before we go on to the inauguration. Welcome, sir. I'm very happy to be here to say some words on behalf of my father, who unfortunately is unwell and not able to be here. In praise of Vanilla Ben's very generous gift to the Vidya Mandir Trust in memory of her dear husband, Navin Bhai. My father's earliest memory of Navin was when he was 10 years old. Navin had been sent to work for my grandfather in 1947 and went in 50 to Antwerp office. And he was sent there by his un late uncle, K.L. Modi. Navin, understandably, was quite overwhelmed by this new world in which he found himself. But yet, right from the beginning, he formed a deep attachment to my father, looking after him as a child and then mentoring him at the start of his career. This special relationship between them was to last over 60 years. Now, this was a period when the modern Indian diamond industry was beginning to develop. News had reached the beers and they decided in the early 1960s to send a delegation to Mumbai. My grandfather, anticipating this visit, sent Narvin in advance, as he knew that De Beers' delegation had great difficulties in making any progress here. De Beers contacted Narvin, asked for help, and he made many introductions to the dynamic young Palampuris. It was this group of exceptionally talented and ambitious Diamantes who not only became De Beers' leading clients, but also created what is today 
one of the most dominant forces in the international diamond industry. And all of this started 60 years ago with Narvin's introductions, creating many very close friendships for my family with the community of Palampur. Now my grandfather died unfortunately in 1965 and my father unexpectedly had to take over the company. And he very soon made his first visit to Mumbai. Narvin Bai and Kanubai, Ashish's father, decided that the best way for him to meet the community was to take a hall in a hotel on Marine Drive and invite everybody. Papa says he has never forgotten the moment of meeting such a large and attentive audience. Narvin was truly my father's mentor. His wise advice and support guided him all through his career. And for me, he was my adopted grandfather, as I was born after mine had died. Narvin and Anila, all through their lives together, have very discreetly supported the academic careers of gifted children in India. And now, Anila's very important and most generous gift in the name of Narvin to the Vidya Mandir Trust is most fitting. They have created this wonderful building which will accommodate all the students' different activities. Papa asked Ashish Bhai how the trust is progressing in Palampur and his answers have amazed both of us. The ever-widening scale of activities, the young, number of young people benefiting from the education offered by the trust, the training of doctors, the care for those with disabilities, which school I saw today, this morning, and so many other activities. All of this stemming from Kanubai's first philanthropic, philanthropic idea steps in the memory of his sister in 1948. It is my privilege to be here to honor Anila's gift and to remember Narvin's life and their many years of marriage together. I know how much you miss him, Anila. Many congratulations to the Vidya Mandir Trust and thank you all very much. <laughs>